Okay na, yes. okay. All right. Very good. Um, wala ma-record kanina. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> It's okay Sige lang. lang. Mm-mm. Okay, um we are so much blessed because we have our invited speaker, our co-teacher in Lahog Night High School, and then <coughs> Vuli will introduce him for us. And then I know you know him because you already met him in Lahog Night High School. Okay, I will. I will invite Teacher Buley to introduce our invited speaker for tonight. Okay, thank you so much, Sir Kitoy. Yes, we're so very honored and blessed to have him here because he really said yes. So our invited guest speaker is no other than our new, newly hired teacher in Lahog Night High School, our new teacher, part of our family. He is actually um graduated with former senior high school principal in ACLC Mandawe ama affiliate for four years six years teaching also a former ESL instructor so let us welcome our guest speaker resource speaker of the night Dr. Francisco, Dr. Nova, <laughs> almost is finishing his master's degree, um, his thesis writing. Actually, he is Mr. Francisco Catalbas Jr. Let's give him a virtual applause. Uh, thank you, thank you Julie and Sir. Uh, before anything else, I'd like to thank all of you, especially for the students who will be attending uh, this engagement. And I'm very honored to be considered to knowledge or even expertise uh, in the assigned topic. So, uh, let me, uh, first thing and first, uh, I would like to remind everyone, especially the students that, uh, Please uh, turn off your microphone if there are, so that uh, it might not create some uh, disturbances while we are uh, taking some important lessons for this evening. And at the same time, uh, questions or suggestions uh, will be entertained uh, right after the engagement. Uh, Sir Dennis, engagement. Again, uh, I requested everyone to turn off their microphone. Thank you so much. So, um, let me share my presentation first. Okay. Uh, can you see my presentation? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Very yes, sir. Clear. Yes, sir. Uh, this, uh, shall we say, seminar or speaking engagement is specifically designed uh, for the senior high school students, especially as far as I know, you are graduating students. Am I correct? It's a mix of grade 12 and 11, sir. Ah, okay. But this is purely senior high school, right? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So basically, this is for the senior high school students, whether you are grade 11 or grade 12. Uh, I understand that um, the time that we are doing this is a night time. So maybe some of them are uh, doing other stuff or maybe some of the students are already some rest but i totally understand that one but for those who are here uh thank you for joining with us uh rest assured that you will be learning something from us from your teachers especially that for the graduating students who will face another challenge of their 
life after graduation. Now, uh, I would like to ask if if anyone here would like to, let's say, uh, have you ever tried to feel that you are a failure or have you ever tried to, to experience that you want to do something but in the end, still a failure? Or what's your normal reaction when you fail? I'd like to call somebody here so that you could also share. Okay, Honey Bell. <laughs> okay, maybe Honey Bell is out of coverage. How about Nimer, Franz Nimer? Um, to sir, about um, how if I feel that I'm a failure. Uh, we say, do you experience? Uh, have you ever experienced that uh, you fail on something? You failed on something, <laughs> and how do you feel about it? Um, yes, sir. I experienced um, sometimes during extracurricular activities, magdungan ng school works. If I don't do my school works on time, <laughs> I feel that I'm a failure. Yang akong murag reaction na na and solution is mangita ra kong pagi the next time na inga na akong situation ako i choose choose ang priority okay. mas, mm. thank you very much so i guess uh we went through the same predicament because you know as a person i myself also fail and there are instances wherein I feel that I am a failure, but uh, as we grow, as we mature, we will be able to understand that failure is part of reality. But before we are going to dig deep to our uh, topic for this evening, I want everybody to try this challenge. And I just want to steer your brain cells, your neurons for a while. Let's try to check how wise you are in terms of uh, this activity. Are you ready, guys? Okay. So if you want to answer, just kindly, uh, what do you call this? Uh, turn on your microphone and say the answer. Okay, let's go for number one. Let me check. Okay, here. Can you guess the correct answer for this? Guess the word, Mr. Law. Yes, guess the word or it's like a phrase. So it, it could not just be a word, but it could be a combination of words. <laughs> So, anyone would like to guess or pass or accept the challenge? I guess. Uh, let me. Call someone, Dave Santerna, correct answer for this challenge. Okay, so I guess um, no one knows the answer, so maybe I'll just reveal to you the answer. It's in between jobs, okay? So the correct answer is in between jobs, okay? How about this one? Can you still hear me? Yes, sir. Can you? Okay, sige, let's continue. How about this one? This is very easy. Campbell egg. I guess uh, this one, uh, one of my class also. Okay, thank you for that. How about this one? 
Uh, I'll give you a clue. Uh, it's the name of a place. Ang lang naman building, bilit na madrawing sa kakaisip. Nice. How about your friends? Did you, uh, did you get it? Taiwan, sir. Taiwan. Very good. Okay, next. This one. Can correct answer. Sir, I think summer. Okay, very good. That was that. Okay, next. Very easy. Forgive and forget. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, can you still <laughs> see my presentation? Makita ra? Teacher Violi, makita ra kong presentation, no? Okay. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, will be uh talking and engaging with uh, specifically on the psychological concept of growth and development. So I'd like to ask, what's the difference between growth and development? Can anyone answer me from the group? Because usually uh, we interchange, terms, but they are really different in meaning, especially in the in technology. And we really have to, to understand that these words or these concepts are different and we should know their basic uh, description. Okay, we have Tracy. Can we ask Tracy to give us her ID? Uh, what's a different so let's look for another oh uh, how about wendell what's your idea between growth and development or let's go to crystal joy i wait sir idea sir Growth and development, sir, no? Okay. Uh, yes. What's the difference uh, between the two? I wait, sir, sir. Kalimut, sir. Because uh, most of the students, uh, they interchange uh these concepts or these words especially when we do some essay writing so sometimes we interchange them and it's very important for us to know uh the description of these words or even the meaning of these words especially in the psychological aspect Okay, Wendell, are you ready to share your insights? Um, ang kalahian lang doha so, ay sir kay although growth and development is kanang parparira sa kanang koan kanang kanang meaning dili just sa parihas kay ang growth kay kanang para sa picture sir kay kanang gikan sa pagbata mo tiguang ka so money she meaning sa growth was sa development kay ko answer kanang sa one nag 
nagka nagkatiguang ka dila ka ma da ka maka ma learn while na learn ka ma maka dela ni mo ma develop imo hang under imong kuan kaw galingon so growth ang connection ni ando sir kung kanang dili ka mo grow kung dili sa ka ma ma develop mo na ko understanding sir Marag sa'yo. Okay. So, um, basically, which would come first? Is it the growth or the development? Um, sir, ang para na po, sir, ang uh, mag-una kay growth. Mo, tigwa mo, kay, kuha man, sir, ba, mo, ba, para na kong growth, kay, mo na siya, ba, pabata to, tigwa mo, inana siya, sir. Okay. Ay, Okay, so who would like to agree with Wendell? Anyone from the group? I'm not saying it's correct. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I would just like to get another idea from the group. Uh, let me call on Ivan. Is Ivan J. Gunson around? Okay, who would like to volunteer? Who would like to agree with Wendell? Okay, Joanna. You are raising your hand. Would you like to answer? Uh, sir, yes, sir. Ganang, para na ko, sir, ganang, agree ko at niya kay, para na ko ang growth kay, kanang, nag-focus siya sa kanang physical development like height, weight, or gender niya. Ang development kay nag-focus siya sa kanang mga skills na to. Kana, okay, sir, thank you. Okay, so thank Thank you for your answer. Again, I'm not going to say it's correct and I'm not going to say it's wrong. Uh, we will find out at the end of the engagement uh, the correct description of or the difference between growth and development. And of course, we will be talking more and more about uh, what are the things that accompanies when we grow and develop. That's a very important factor in our lesson or discussion for this evening. Okay. So, what is growth? So, let me read. Uh, it's a basic definition. So, when we talk about growth, it's the physical change that a particular individual undergoes. Probably, it's pretty obvious that as a person, uh, as you can see on the picture, uh, na I infant, Mahimo siyang toddler, mahimo siyang child, mahimo siyang teenager, basically mahimo siyang adult, young adult, mahimo siyang adult until such time he became an old man. So basically when we talk about growth, it refers to the physical changes that happen to each one of us. So for example, uh, most of you are already teenagers. Do you agree with me, uh, students? Uh, do you agree with me that you are almost in ages, right? Basin og da ay nalain dere? Of course, except the three of us. I do not know, Sir Kitoy, asa ni siya nga stage sa life? <laughs> Basta ako, naagya ko yung adult, ha? Ay nga stage. But I guess... Um, her face would reveal that siguro na apan ni sayang sa koan, sayang stage si Mang Biongi. Okay? Now, uh, when we talk about uh, physical changes, this is also the series of physical changes that occur from conception through maturity. So basically, it's a basic concept when we talk about growth. Um, it's a physical changes, no? Kung sa babay, uh, there are, there are growth that uh, of course, it's a male and female anatomy, so it's going to have differences. But uh, what I'm trying to emphasize here that it's the physical changes no, that happen in our body. But of course, there are some exceptions. Can you tell me what are some exceptions? Anyone from the class or anyone from the group? Because... Uh, we have to take note that uh, physical changes have also limitations. 
am I having an over, oh, what do you call this, an echo? I'm not so sure, ha? It might a while ago, sir, but the... now it's okay. Wala okay. na, sir. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, as what I have mentioned earlier, uh, growth is a physical change that a particular individual undergoes. But uh, there are some exceptions. I'd like to ask from the group if you have an idea. What do you think are the exceptions that I am talking about? Sige, let me ask. Um, okay. Let's try to ask Franz. Nimir again. So, as define growth is the process. Um, I have some twist. Uh, there are some exceptions. Franz? Yes, sir. So, what do you think are the exceptions? Because, you know, normally people will undergo uh, um, being infant, toddler until he or she becomes an old man or an old woman. So what do you think are the exceptions? One, sir. Um, some part of these are people with disabilities, like people who do, does not grow tall. Sakto ba, sir? Uh, yeah, that's correct. No, you got it correct. Uh, there are limitations because uh, there are cases like dwarfism or gagatism wherein uh, their physical growth is being hindered by some hormonal imbalance or maybe uh, they have this uh, syndrome. So basically, that's one of the limitations when we talk about physical changes because not all physical changes, um, what they call this, not all physical changes manifest in height or even uh, the shape of our body. Because there are some exceptions. You know, it's biology. Now let's go to development and let's try. Okay, let me zaka about one to read around. Or may I call on. Um, Lisa, are you around? Or let me call on another person. Okay, Roslyn, Sigi Sabal. Okay, it seems like uh, she's not around. Uh, how about Julieto SP? Can you read the the description for me or for the group? Okay, parang nawala si SP. So basically, uh, when we talk about development, it is the overall growth of humans throughout their lives. One. Development includes the understanding of how and why people change in terms of physical growth, intellectual, emotional, social, and other aspects of human growth. So basically, uh, here comes when we talk about development, it's not only the physical growth, it's not only the intellectual group or the intellectual part, but also the emotional, the social, and other aspects of human growth. So for example, um, before... Uh, we have this so-called intelligence quotient, what we call IQ. Am I correct? Are you familiar with IQ test, uh, students? I guess everybody is familiar with IQ. But we also have an EQ. EQ. EQ, sir? Can anybody guess? For me, what is EQ? If there, if we have an IQ, we also have an EQ. Uh, let me check. Okay, K Santillan. If we have an IQ, 
uh, what's an EQ also? Or what EQ stands for? Okay. Let me choose another lucky guy or a lucky person. Um, Miss Tracy. Emotional intelligence. Okay, uh, that's the, the correct term. No, thank you for answering the, the question. So when we talk about emotional uh, intelligence or what we call emotional quotient, okay? Because uh, in the business world, uh, character is a very important factor for success. So basically, there must be an old cliche that while it's true that excellence will brought you to the top, but it is the character that will uh, maintain or support you along the way. So it's not only about the IQ, but of course your emotional quotient. how are you going to deal with your emotions, uh, channeling them in a proper uh, forum. And we also have social and other aspects of the human growth. Uh, when we talk about social, uh, basically, uh, there are theories uh, that are related or that could answer the social aspect of development. One is uh, the Eric Erickson's theory. Uh, I know some of you are familiar with this, but uh, later on in your higher education, you will be able to encounter Eric Erickson's social theory. In psychology, there are several principles concerning growth and development. But of course, as we grow and develop, there are important aspects of our life that uh, we need to, uh, to give our attention, especially that as we grow, development also comes within, okay? So can you still remember the first question that I asked you before we question that I I gave? Uh, are you still around, Franz? Yes, sir. But cutting out the amount of audio. The, the, the first question that I throw in the group. Yes, sir. The question, sir. Uh, okay, my, my question was, um, Napotol siya. Makat ka, sir. Dili, klaro. Temporarily, I guess, sir, Catalbas is out. Let's wait for a while. Oh. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir, you're here. Welcome back. Uh, I apologize. Maybe it's the <laughs> internet connection. So <laughs> some things are not are beyond our control. Okay. Uh, I guess everyone, everybody is, uh, that thing is understandable. Well, Again, uh, my question was, um, how do you feel when you fail on something? So I guess I'd like to ask Franz to answer the same question again. Yes, sir. Um, what I feel if I experience failure, I, yes. I learn from it, sir. Or how to cope with it, how to pamper myself nga that I'm not a failure, that I can still improve. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me ask you, uh, do you know a school that would teach his or her students to fail? Can anyone tell me? Wala, no? I guess I'm, uh, wala. Am I correct? Wala, sir. Wala, no, sir. Wala, sir. Wala, sir. Wala, sir. 
Honestly, wala wala ni schools. Sir, wala. There are no schools in this world will will teach you how to fail. That's definitely uh, true, right? But the reality is, do we really fail or do we fail as a person? Yes or no? Yes, of course, sir. Okay. Now, um, it's kind of a stereotype that, um, you know, as a parent, as a teacher, or even as a colleague, or a, a barcada, it's embedded in our mind and heart that we should never fail. Am I correct? We always wish and we always aim to win. Am I correct? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Even we encourage our, yes, yes. our, our kids or we encourage our students and we encourage our barcada and our siblings na not to fail. Ayaw jud papildi or maybe ayaw gid kasayup. Am I correct or I am too yes. correct? Yes, sir. Correct. <laughs> okay. Now, um, we are in the 21st century and there are three skills that we are going to learn when it comes to the 21st century. You know that number one is we have to learn. Second is we have to unlearn. And the third thing is we have to relearn. Learn means that uh, we need to study. Okay, we need to look for new concepts. We have to unlearn. That means to say that what might be true yesterday might be false today or what might be false yesterday might be true nowadays. And relearn is uh, we need to review. Now, how are we supposed to connect that in our discussion for this evening? Now, uh, as what I have asked you before, kung naabay schools, na nagtudlo, na mafail ta, or even uh, we always encourage our peers, we always encourage our peers, na not to fail because uh, it's very understandable the, the negative effect of failure in our um, in our self. Am I correct? We always have that um, negative notion Kumbaga parang na stereotype na siya sa society natin na when you fail, everything is final. Everything is what they call this. Um, uh, the, the, the magic word is contributory or reflection of yourself. Am I correct? We always afraid to fail. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. But um, basically... We have to admit and we have to, to what I call this, we have to accept that failure is part of the reality. Okay? And we have to understand that failure is as real as you are. But the way we see things, that's perception, the way we see things, it matters. Okay? Say, for example, uh, you see two different things, but, or you see, uh, for example, you and your friend seeing the same thing, but you have a different perception. Am I correct? For example, parihami gitan ao ni Sir Kitoy. Okay? Parihami gitan ao nga movie ba? However, we do have different perceptions. Am I correct? Is that possible? Correct. Okay? Nay tan ao tog apple. But we have a different perception of Apple brought about by different experiences we had uh, brought about by our knowledge on Apple. So when it comes to failure, it's kind of a stereotype sa society natin kasi uh, pag failure negative, oh, obviously negative yung impact sa ating sarili. But let's try to, to understand that Failure as real as you are. And we have to deal with failure, whether we like it or not. Am I correct? Say yes, for example, sir. 
dili ka mo graduate kaya wala ka ni submit sa imuhang module i hope wala ing na adri sa atong mga senior high school no when you fail to submit your module that is already a failure in our own understanding am i correct when we fail to submit our project it's already a failure because of our understanding because that's how we how we how we are brought us or how we rate by our parents okay tapos so, anxiety attack na yun anxiety attack then here it comes <laughs> they post on the social media uh, i'm depressed they try to use terms that only psychologists know how to use it properly diba so let's try to put things in the proper perspective especially that um because failure is associated with anxiety am i correct or i am too correct and anxiety is associated with depression and depression is associated with suicidal am i too correct or i am just correct okay You're so correct. Yeah. let's try to put things in the proper perspective so that it will help us grow and develop Dili lang ato ang lawas mo imo grow but our mind and our emotion. Because whether you like it or not we fail. We fail intentionally and we fail unintentionally. We do not know we we do not know when we are going to fail, no? But I'm not saying that we should fail. Later on we will be able to understand uh, the 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 thin line or the thread line that we are going to tackle okay are you ready okay let me okay so um growth and development should come hand in hand dili pwede nga kanang gamay kay ka or dako na kay kaglawas pero wala gihapon kay buot okay you are not still responsible especially that you are a senior high school student so um behave as at your age okay so kanang dili pod kanang sobraan ra pod nga to the point that you are you cannot enjoy your uh being a teenager okay there are you know there are some you know there are some teenagers or there are some young people nga they are very very passionate with um what they call this old or adult things like work etc because uh baka advance mag isep so yun so dapat balance lang yung dalawa okay so growth and development should come hand in hand now let's go to the the meat of the discussion so how do failures help us to learn okay uh, i'd like a volunteer to read the first one Can anybody read it for the group? Uh, let me ask Wayne, Wayne Walter, Delfino. Sigur, sir. Ganahan kayo na mutubag. Sigur. Arnido, okay. gyur. Arnido, gyur? Yes, sir. Ganahan kayo na mutubag. Can I have your participation as requested by Sir Kitoy? Okay. There might be some technical. Uh, number one principle is failure teaches that success is never guaranteed. Sir, Marie Louise Chua would like to volunteer. Okay. Oh. Nobody Chua. can hear you. Let's try Chua. Uh, Paulo Cortez. Failure teaches that success is never guaranteed. Okay, that's correct. So we should admit admit the fact that uh, because failure is already an indication that success is not a guarantee 
And mind you that the opposite of success is not always failure. Always put that in mind. Okay? Now, what do we mean by failure teaches that success is never granted? Okay, there must be an old saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Meaning to say, uh, when you do something, you should always look two sides of the coin. Diba? Ang coin is na head and tail. Life is like that. It could be a head or a tail. That is why when we plan on something, we should always be practical. We should always have plan A, plan B, until plan Z. Because this principle teaches us that we should never be complacent. Okay? Because whenever there are success stories, there are also fail stories. I hope you, you get my point. And it's the reality that um, this failure would actually tell us that not always we will be successful in all our endeavors. Is that true? Or is that too true to all Your of us? Your wants to answer, sir. Uh, Kinsa si... Gyor. Gyor. Gyor? Hello, Gyor. Gyor Arnido said, Ako, mom, I'll have my answer. <laughs> I think wala siguro audio ang mic. Okay. So, um, I'd like to ask somebody if you could share some insights or experience relative to the first um, principle or first uh, concept that I shared. So, kung wala, we can proceed, no? Because there are still a lot of principles along the way. Okay, number two. Okay. Failure teaches you to embrace change. And of course, the famous line here that the only constant of this world is change. Okay. Um, say for example, no, let me share my some of my experience. Um there was a particular there was a particular uh, project that I I supposed to to accomplish and of course we always wanted to to win or we always wanted to accomplish things as we want as what we have um, written in our objectives but failure teaches us that there are inevitable changes in our lives. Say, for example, as a student, um, mag face to face na ka, excited na ka, mag face to face, because you were nabunutan ka sa kuan sa raffle nga. You'll be part of the limited face to face. Now here comes, um, giubuka. Okay, giubuka na kay mga step on. So basically, you fail to participate in a limited face-to-face -face classes. So in that case, there is already a change. And it depends on how we perceive the changes in our situation. So always remember that uh, when we fail on something, it encourages us to change our strategies. Say, for example, you cannot expect you cannot expect to succeed if your strategy is still the same. Am I correct? Say, for example, um, nagduwa mo by group. You use first strategy in you is like this, and you fail. And you will use the same strategy on the second round 
Do you expect that you will succeed in your game? No, because you use the same strategy. That is why failure teaches you to embrace change. You have to change your strategy. You have to um, think outside the box. Kasi pag pabalik-balik yan yung strategy mo, hindi ka mananalo, I I'll tell you. It's the same path that you will go because you never embrace change. You never accept the fact that I have to change. I have to let go of my ego so that we will be successful in our endeavor. Okay, I hope you get that one class. That in every situation, in every uh, in every situation wherein you require to solve a problem, you should always check or you should always check if your strategy is working. If your strategy is not working, so you have to have a plan B, plan C, and or even plan Z as much as possible. Okay? Because if you keep on using the same strategy, don't expect you will have a different result. Am I correct? Okay. I hope everyone is still in my discussion. Are you still there? Basin na nga tulog na mo. Okay. So I hope uh, everybody is still alive, active, and alert. Time check is already 9-7, but it's okay. Next. Uh, Failure can be a great source of motivation. Okay, do you believe this one? Yes, sir. Have you ever, have you ever tried to experience that? Kanang, I, I failed this one, but it gave me the, the reason to change myself. First, uh, the, 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 the previous principle that failure teaches how to change. Now, failure can be a great source of motivation. And that is true. Okay? And that is true. Because, yes, sir. I agree, sir. Okay. Who was that? Could you please share your experience? Because uh, you are so passionate in agreeing my statement. Sir, I agree to those things, sir. Because I've been through a lot of circumstances, not just in studies, but in life and real-life situation, which um, actually made me realize about things. Even if you failed a lot of times, you just gonna keep try and try until you succeed. Um, because the key to a successful you or successful life is you need to be failed at first and then learn from your mistakes and be better in the future. Okay, that's correct. No, that is a great answer. Thank you for that. Now, everybody start in a kumbaga pas kung sa tagalog lahat tayo ay nagsisimula sa maliit do you agree with me if you want to be successful in life do not start at big things start at small things and you continue it until you build your empire okay kasi let me give you an analogy binigyan ka ni god ng box Let's say, for example, is yung box represents success, kung gaano siya kalaki, ganyan din, kaganda yung, or ganun din yung kasuccess. So halimbawa, binigyan ka ni God ng napakalaking box. Let's say, for example, it weigh mga 100 kilograms. Tapos, yung timbang mo lang is, let's say, 50 kilograms. Do you believe that you can hold it? Yes or no? Obviously, no. So it's the same thing with life when we talk about success and failure. If you want to be successful in life, ayaw sa pag-dream o ganang dinag ko kaistanan nga. After ni mo graduate, ganahan ako nga ma-manager sa McDonald's or ganahan ako mahimong kuan ka ng superintendent. No, it's not like that one. You have to learn from the scratch. You have to learn to deal with the small things until the small things accumulated 
and now you are ready to deal with so much big things. Uh, you are now ready for the big roles in life. Do you agree with me? Parehara gun siya og bata good. Ang bata, dili gina ni mudrit so pakan on og kanang solid food. Kwa gina siya milk, gina siya or liquid. Something that he or she can chew. Diba? So, it could be a great source of motivation. However, it's sad to note that there are there were some people that failure becomes the the judgment of their lives. And we should always continue to pray that since you are attending this kind of speaking engagement, I hope that if you encounter these people, if you can encounter people who lose motivation, let us be the source of motivation as a friend, as a colleague, or as a mother, or as a parent, okay? Because failure is real as reality, okay? We cannot avoid it, okay? And if you keep on thinking, if you keep on being anxious about tomorrow, uh, it's going to add up your burden in life, okay? So let us be the motivations of other people who need it. Okay, next, a very important one, failure is not final. Always remember this one class, that when you fail on something, it's not final and executory. As long as you, still, uh, you are still breathing, as long as you still have friends, as long as you still have God, failure is not a final chapter of your life. Okay, always remember that one, because... Let me tell you, at some part of our lives, we will undergo, we will be in the lowest point of our lives. And we might be able to, and we might say that, siguro wala na ko pag asa or I don't have any hope. Please avoid that kind of perception, avoid that kind of thinking. Reach out to your friends, reach out to your colleagues, reach out to your Parents, reach out to your kids so that uh, you will find support system and you can channel your experience, your failure into a more productive way. So always remember that one. For example, mo take a board exam, nahagbong ka. Sakit, dili. Sakit. Sakit, kayo. Di ba? Wala ka kapasar sa module. Okay? 15 questions. 2 ang imuhang score. Okay? Okay, wala ka ni basta. Okay, pasangin lang din ni mo si teacher. Okay? Ito, yeah, bago na ni mo si teacher. Ito, ni mo si teacher that failure is not a final, sir. So, sige lang kung ka-fail. Kay, ana mga ka, sir, failure is not final. So, okay, nag-balik-balik ko sa kuan, Sa senior high school, okay, failure is not a final man. So as long as I am breathing, I do not mean that one, okay? So please, you might be thinking uh, this type of principle. Ay, uh, please, basiin niyo kung pasangin lang nga. Si Sir Catalbas ang nagkuha na na, nagtudloan na principle nga. Failure is at a final end. It's applicable in our daily lives. No, it's not what I meant like that, Okay. When we talk about uh, failure is not final, meaning to say that you need to you need to look for a solution. Okay, say for example, there is a problem. Most people, most people will always uh, look a problem out of the problem instead of the solution. Okay. Let's say, for example, no, as a leader, uh, I've been with AMA and for almost um, six, uh, five years and almost four years in the administration. When somebody approaches in my office, I would always encourage my teachers before that. Um, when you present a problem, make sure that you could all also present a solution. It's not quite the demand, it's not a demanding one, but it's try to, to influence or teach 
the, the, the your colleagues or your people around you or your direct reports that in every problem we need to have we have to think of a, a solution rather than sticking to the problem because if you keep on sticking on the problem mahurot na lang usa ka adlaw wala tay solution and if there is a problem problem na siya you cannot undone the best thing that you can do is to look for a solution and let's try to work with the solution. Sometimes, mong God, uh, mas take ta, no? Sa problema. And as a student, I also feel the same thing when I was still in high school, no? Sa una, uh, sa mong panahon is, wala mong goy senior high school. Junior high school lang, pero I am very proud of my generation because there was no messenger, there was no Facebook, but I graduated with flying colors with all the kuano paningkamot and with all the the sincerity to finish my high school so na ay problema and basically we are tempted to linger on the problem instead of looking for a solution so always remember that one people that um when we say failure is not final that means we are encouraged to look for a solution for every problem that we may encounter it's good to it's good to study the problem but it is much more productive when we look for a solution because time is running resources are limited and we should utilize them properly okay so next um are you still there uh guys yes sir Arami, sir, naanta kay dagdag sa about sa worrying sir para dagdag sa knowledge sa uban sir ba. Yes, ayo ni share. Ayan uh, about day sa mga worrying guys sa tanan ng mga estudyante diri am. About worry guys, um just don't be too worry sometimes kasi that's actually cost us how to panic like it can cause a lot of problems if you were actually focusing on worrying so if meron kang if if you have problems and if you're actually have a solution for it then why worry and if you have problems and you don't even have solution then why worry diba so it's just it's just the fact na parang you just, you just got to need uh, you just need to think about positivity always and whenever whatever problems and circumstances that you were going through especially sa mga studies you need to accept the fact na not every single time you will totally win. You you need to lose before you win. Wala na, sir. Okay, thank you for that. No? That was also a very insightful, no? Uh, you know, um, it's okay to worry, no? Because it's an innate nature for us human beings to worry. But we should always strike a balance. If you keep on worrying all the day, it's going it's not it's not going to do good in your body and it's not going to do good with your uh, mental health remember you no know, in, in in science um when we worry when we were when we are happy uh when we are angry when we are jealous our physical body or are you our biological uh, aspects plays a vital role because uh, certain hormones uh, will what you call this will be released no so for example uh, cortisol cortisol is a stress hormone and it's not good okay so psychologically speaking and on based on our biological aspects Worry is okay because that is our innate nature. Human beings, it's natural for us to worry because there are um, external factors or there are, what do you call this? Uh, there are triggering elements that cause us to worry. But if you keep on worrying, that is not also good because that would also uh, develop some, you know, it would lead into anxiety until into depression and worse is suicidal. So thank you for that. Now next is failure broadens your perspective. And that is true because 
um, when you fail, no, it's uh, it's acceptable that you fail because especially if you start from the beginning, you cannot expect success on the first try. That is true, okay? Especially if you are new to your workplace, if you are new to that thing, you cannot expect that you will master everything at one glance. That's why there must be an old cliche that practice makes perfect, but nobody is perfect, okay? So when we talk about failure, broadening your perspective, it will help you to realize that first, Failure is as real as reality. Second, it broadens your perspective because it will give you the chance to think creatively, to think differently, and to look for other or to perceive differently. Meaning to say that, as what I have said, if you play a certain game, whether it's a group or individual game, when you employ the same strategy, do not expect the same result or do not expect, rather do not expect a different result because you have a same strategy. And because you fail on something, it, would, it should motivate you to think outside the box. It should motivate you to look for the other side of the coin it motivates you, it gives an opportunity to look the other angle, to dig deep, to think outside the box, and to broaden your perspective. Because if you don't like to fail, nobody, nobody wants to fail. That is true. Nobody wants us to fail, but we fail, whether unintentionally or intentionally. That is why it teaches us to be humble because success is a lousy teacher, okay? Because you become so complacent now because uh, you think of yourselves that tanang, I'm already successful. I don't need this. I don't need that. Remember that the, big, the biggest room is the room for improvement. We have to learn every day. Okay, as we try to, as we try new perspectives, as we try new adventures, do not expect that you can master it right away. Okay, you should realize that it's okay to fail, but it's not okay to fail, to fail again and again and again because you don't learn from it. That's insanity. Panalitan, example, na kay uyab, na sakpani mo gachit. That's somehow a failure because you expect that he or she will love you until the eternity. Oh yeah, now fail man. Maybe third party or whatsoever. Nibalik lang gihapon ka. Do not expect na malipay gihapon ka the second time because you know, you know already that this person will cheat you or this person will actually lie to you and do you expect do you, are you expecting to yourself that you'll be happy that's insanity you did not learn okay because you know basi mo anak mo okay ra gid mo learn sir okay ra gid mo fail sir para ma learn and learn and learn no <laughs> you fail again and again and you did not learn that's insanity okay because again on the previous principle that we have uh, that we have talked about failure and okay, to failure is aside from it broadens your perspective samahan na nakalimot na sila aside from it so kung magsigil ng pagka fail and you did not learn something that is not okay. Ay gid pasangin li ay ko pasangin li nga. Okay ra gid mafail sir kay mo man ay mong gitudlo sir. Okay. Feel your broadens your perspective so ganahan ako magsigi ka sayop sir. Okay ra sir nga kanang kuan lang kanang 
ka nang embrace kog mediocrity okay ra ka nang pangkuanan ni pang 75 ra ni akong output okay ra you know failure broaden your perspective mangka sir no it's not what i meant because if it is if you keep complaining and you did not know that is insanity okay failure teaches us to learn that is why it broadens your perspective because it encourages you or motivates you to look for another perspective kabalo na ka nga mao na ang ending para gi happy ka mo agi okay ara mao gi pa ni mo strategy nga gamiton that's insanity sa puton ang teacher ni mo ana or even your ang imo ang magpapa no do not philosophize this one because you cannot philosophize this one okay <laughs> do not treat this as a general statement or a general truth okay i hope students you understand what i am trying to say okay kasi pasangilan ko ninyo nga i was the one who influence you to to kuan to get lousy to be mediocre, uh, to be mediocre okay so please okay let's broaden our perspective on this okay next failure teaches you to stay humble okay important jud ka ayo no okay as what i have said earlier that success is a lousy teacher okay what well, ano man because moabot lang good sa point sa tong life that if we feel that we are always successful if we feel that we always get what we want yeah associate na to nga gituyo gini sa Ginoo nga ipa success jud ko na jud nako ang swerte i associate din nato ang good luck i associate din nato atong mga gipangsulot nga man siya good luck sorry but scientifically even scientifically it will not help you failure teaches to stay humble because um ano man uh, ngano man because it will make you realize that dili lang ikaw ang bright sa inyong klase okay dili lang ikaw ang kaibaw mo sayo sa inyong klase dili lang ikaw kaibaw ang mukanta sa inyong klase You should, you should always remember that one. That failure is as real as reality. Okay? So, pili mo nga successful na jukay ka, everything that you do, kani mao gini siya, but mind you, there are also other external factors that will affect your success. Things that you didn't expect to come along the way. And that is true. Okay? Confident kay ka, plan A ra kong buhaton, Lord Oy. Plan A ra gyud kay feel mo. Oo, Okay. Ay, wala ka kay plan B. So, pagka feel sa imong plan A, kay wala man kay plan B, aw hilom na lang ka. Muhilak na lang ka because wala man ka na learn. Kay you always think of your you you think uh you think of yourself so high that whatever you think is something that mogi na siya ang sakto. So, admit that you fail and it's okay to admit. But after that one, we should move forward and we should think of other ways not to repeat the mistake that we have done in the past. Okay? Okay, sa so ako nang ginaingon, many people experience this one. I myself is a victim also of kanang kuan bitaw kanang kabalo na kang ma fail ka diang dapita magbalik-balik jud ka diha. No? Maski in every in different aspect of life. Okay? And I think this is the last. Failure teaches you that not every idea is worth pursuing. For example, kanang you are a student, no? Kay most of you kay student man in kanang in college, no, mamili na kagkuan kanang degree, no? In other parts in other country, they call it course, but here in the Philippines, 
maybe the correct term is degree because course is subject. So say for example, mamili na kag degree and you heard a lot of voices. You heard a lot of ideas. Your parents tell you that dapat mag-lawyer ka. Your colleagues or your classmates tell you nga mag-medicine ta kay ka nang para mag sa or maybe your other your 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 parent or your relatives tell you nga magkuan ka ka nang mag teacher ka. So you hear a lot of voices coming from the different directions. But failure will teach you that not every idea is worth pursuing. What do you mean by this? Siyempre, if we are on the early stage or a new endeavor and we are we don't have any experience, so probably uh, ma-fail ta. And that's okay. That is a valid um, experience. That is a valid feeling. And it will also teach you that siguro dili ko compatible an eh. Kay sa kadaghang idea nga musulod sa atong hunahuna, wala na nakabalo kung unsa atong So, for example, na fail ka diri nga area. Ya tan-aw jud nimo nga para dili gyud imuha kay based on your assessment sa imong kagalingon. Pag dili jud ni nako. Kay remember we talk about nga try and try and try pero wala kay assess assess sa imong kagalingon mo na na fail lang gihapon ka so do not expect that you will be successful because wala man imong giassess ang imong self you assess yourself along with the with the failure so for example na fail ba ka ani nga exam try to assess yourself nga ah na fail day ko diri nga exam because probably wala ko naka touch diri nga topics wala ko diri nakatouch nga kuan-kuan ina so on so on so you have to assess yourself dili man pud pwede nga mo sige lang kag anak try and try and try and try and try again until try to assess yourself because there might be other possibilities that is also worth for your success kay failure teaches you that not every idea is pursuing so kung para dili imo ha ayaw gid pugsa pero unya na kamo ingon ana if na assess na nimo imo kagalingon Diba? Na-assess na nimo uh, Na-check na na yung capabilities. Kay, we have to admit the fact that the fact that we cannot be the master of all things. Namang gita'y tagsa-tagsa na ito ka-talent. Namang gita'y tagsa-tagsa na ito ka-expertise. Pananglitan, kanta, singing. While it's true that you have to try and try and you have to practice pero kung dili gid para sa imuha kay we might kita tanan is we are talented at varying degree na kita certain nga expertise okay na mo gita ato ang forte so do not expect failure will teach you that not every idea is worth pursuing kay temptation mong good siya it's a very tempting notion that Actually, if na kay art anna, na kay talent pud anna, but ramen, it will cost you resources. It will cost your time. It will cost your effort if you try to entertain every idea. So, na feel na ganit ka anna, na assess na nimo yung kagalingon, so, try to look for the other side of the coin. Nakailaing plan. Okay? So, again, what I am trying to share with you, each principle is probably might be true to you and not might be, uh, not be, and might be not be true to the other people. Okay? So, delete ni siya yung mga general thought that these are the Murag Ten Commandments. No, it's a case-to-case -case basis because each one of us not a line -la in experience. This principle might not be applicable to you because na assess na nimo yung kagalingon. Siguro ang kanang try and try and try and 
till you succeed, dili na applicable sa ako. Okay. I have already assessed myself and nakakita kong opportunity nga. Mas mo exile ko diri niya. Diri ko ni stick. Diba? Let's admit the fact. But that's why na ang failure because it will teach you that not every idea is worth pursuing. It will teach you that it will broaden your perspective. It will give you a choice actually. Okay? Panalitan. Kanang wala gid siya gusto nimo mamugus giday ka diba do not force yourself on someone or ayo pamugus imo kagalingon ana if dili gid na para sa imo ha especially na assess na nimo na check na nimo na check na nimo ang pros and cons kay mo na ang purpose sa failure it will open your eyes to the reality it will open your eyes to it will open you to the more opportunities to come Okay, so senior high school students, I hope that you learn something, especially in making choices. And always remember that being a failure will not automatically reflect on yourself. Do not ever try to think that when you fail, failure na juga. Because the, the truth of the matter is we all fail. At the different times, different levels. But the most important thing is these principles. We have to be adaptive to the changes of our environment, especially that uh, our communication is governed by social media and undeniably, social media influence us. The way we deal with issues, the way we deal with life. So, Ganun. Okay? So, I hope you learned something from me and I hope that I am making sense to all of you. And if you have some questions, you can, you can still ask. I'm going to entertain maybe three questions. Or maybe you can ask me three questions. Okay, before sa yung question, let us Give a round of applause virtually to Sir Francis Catalbas. <laughs> clap, clap! Naay ko nandura, naay ka ng reaction ninyo, dira. makita ninyo, mo-click mo sa reaction, makapili mo clap, thumb mark, dira, heart. So you can you can see din ha sa inyo hang screen, na reaction dira, i-click ninyo. Pwede mo muhatag o ka ng fireworks, pwede na ay heart, Pwede na ay ka ng clap. <laughs> Pwede na po cash, sir. <laughs> sir is very willing to accept. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding, no? Anyway, yeah. if you, uh, I'm going to entertain at, uh, maybe three questions or maybe you can ask something, no? Uh, maybe three uh, I'll just limit to three because uh, we have time constraints, no? Your speaker will have the mag beauty rest po ang yung speaker because tomorrow is another day to battle <laughs> with. Guys, mag na mo questions, guys, kay free raraba ni. So, next time mo mo-appeal mo seminar, na narabay bayad. So, free guys, if you guys want to ask questions, you know, it's free. <laughs> May pinagdaanan yun yung bata. <laughs> well, I was so uh, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to share my my piece tonight and I hope that I am making sense to everyone and like you Ni agi sa ko pagka teenager, ni agi sa ko pagka high school student, and ni agi sa ko pagka na fail po ko. Okay? There were moments in my life that sometimes I have to question my worth. Uh, I have to ask because I always, every time, no, after, uh, every time I have a goal, even if I am successful with it, even if 
na fail ko, I always assess myself. Okay? Especially when I fail, where did I go wrong? And I tried to deal the problem objectively. And I tried to channel my emotions properly. Because when you are overwhelmed by your emotions, you cannot think properly. You cannot think of a solution because your emotions govern you. It's okay to be to get angry. It's okay to get mad. It's okay to be sad. But we have to proper that in the proper channels. We have to look for the proper or uh, correct people that who could help us, not down us. Okay? And yeah. it's good to, to fail, but it's not good to fail again and again and again because, again, that's insanity. You are not learning from it. Okay? So I'm not promoting here that you really dapat ma-fail mo para ma-learn mo. Do not wait for something na ma-fail mo before mo mga learn no? Ayaw mo wait nga ka nang masakitan mo o sa mo ma-learn, okay? If, if, if kabalo na mo sa mga cautions, sa mga precautions, so do the proper thing. Sometimes, raba, maulag yun yun, sometimes, unha na ta ma-learn kung masakitan na ta or naanay something. ba? Diba? And, you know, pain is a koan, an effective teacher in our life. Okay, nobody wants to get pain. Okay? But mas maayo unta no nga we can avoid knowing nga kabalo na ta sa mga circumstances, no? And sometimes again, we are insane kay kabalo na gyud nga ma-fail ta diha, muara lang gihapon ta, no? So, please, no? Let's not be stupid ba nga especially if our emotions govern us and this one the two should bring no our our mind and our heart should always go together yes this, sir no dili man pud may nga pulos na lang sa brain because there are things in life that cannot be tong it's it's good to be more compassion than to be intellectual and dili pud pwede nga sige lang heart atong gamiton kay Sigurad gitag ka fail anna, sigurad gitag asa anna, no? So we should also use our mind. Okay? So if you have a question, if you have something to ask, um ako na lang i-limit into two because naka-share na ko. Kung wala question, pwede sa the appreciation. <laughs> Ayan, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Because uh, uh, basically now I'm in the middle of um, problems, especially uh, physically and emotionally. So thank you so much for reminding me um, not to stick on those things. Even though I actually learned about those things before, but actually, I was actually thankful for reminding me it's actually worth it. Na to be here in this specific Zoom meeting. So thank you so much, sir. And um, thanks for the um, word of wisdom that I actually learned and reminds me how to be and how to be strong and even more realize about things in life, not just in school, but in life mostly. Kay mo mo na face. Hindi dapat dire mo mo face o mga subject sa rake, makatrabaho naman tapuhon and we just need to accept the fact na before we get to those highs na gusto ni mo na madream, we need to experience those things. Or what I mean about experience is we need to go to those process before you get the key to success. So, thank you so much sir and I appreciate it and I love you all. Thank you so much. So I wish you success in all your endeavors. So uh, we might fail along the way, but the most important thing is we learn how to get up, correct our mistakes, and be successful in life. Okay. And I would like to thank again Sir Dennis and Mom Violi for inviting me. So it's uh, an opportunity for me to share my knowledge, my experience with this future uh the hope of our the, the hope of the next generation okay kamo man kamo man ang bata you are the hope of the next generation we are counting on you because kami we are we are not getting younger only the face <laughs> 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 we're getting older and you know who knows 
Okay? And we would love to see students that who are more successful than us. It's an honor for us teachers because uh, that means to say that we were able to influence you, we were able to touch your lives, and we were able to encourage you to pursue your dreams. So it's already a reward for us teachers that we see our students successful, okay? And it's more rewarding because we were we became part of your learning journey, okay? So I guess uh, that will be all, Mam Viol, for today's video. Thank you very much, Sir Catalbas. That was a very intense, impactful, and hel helpful insight, Sir. Really, I learned so much from today's input, no, not only with the students, and I'm very happy that some students are very active on the chat box because they couldn't uh, like share their voice. So I'm very happy. Well, before we're going to leave, um, we're going to pray before we leave. And please, can you please comment on our chat box? How do you think about for the feedback? How do you feel about today's session? Can you please um, put the message on the chat box? How did you feel? What did you learn? Or what can you say about today's or just tonight's experience with this session? Can you please have your message on the a chat, everyone, if it's okay? Because it can really help us continue. And also your feedback really matters because we want to improve this. We want to sustain this. If we could uh, for the grade 12, I want you to leave your message so that we could realize how we could improve this for the next generation. The grade 10 who will be going to grade 11 and those who are here, grade 11 students who, are be, who will be going to grade 12, okay? So you can leave your comment or feedback on the chat box because I'm going to screen chat. I'm actually doing the documentation. Okay, thank you very much. Sir Kitoy, um, would you please help us lead the prayer? Um, Mam Violi, uh, to everyone, uh, before I, I choose for us to give the closing prayer. Uh, Mam Biuli, for additional documentation, I would like to invite um, all of you, if you have time, this is only an invitation, you can um, you can answer the, the question. I have a Microsoft doc document. There is a certain questions there um, regarding the growth and challenges. So there are certain questions that uh, I would like to share it to them, Mam Biuli, ha? Sagdit lang yun. Okay, Gamay yes, no kayo. problem, Sir Kito. Yes, Kira, Mam Biuli, no? yes. Well, I'm also okay. reading the the comment. You can share the docs. Please, guys, uh, okay. before we end this, I am also uh, documenting your feedback. Some comments, lessons you learned from tonight. Okay, um, this one, I, I prepared this one, um, questionnaires, um, application activity, growth through experience worksheet. So we, uh, we will just invite you to uh, answer the questions. This is only an invitation, not a compulsory. Uh, who would like to answer this question is very much appreciated because Mom Buley will gather all of this and this this will be a part of our documentation so okay i will just share this um this document in our group chat uh, uh after our meeting tonight okay so that's all <laughs> so there go this is editable circuit you will just um put the link and then they can enter their answers in the box yes ma'am in yes. the table. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, okay. students. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so, thank you so much, uh, everybody, for your time. And then, 
I read a lot of your messages in the chat box. It's very inspirational and very motivating. Actually, I really love everything. Gisulti ni Sir Francisco Catalbas. I love everything. Ayang Gisulti. I thought na kanang ako ra ba ang naay kanang feeling ba ng failure and then moving forward. But still, na just si Sir Catalbas. He is the living witness. Nga dili good final ang failure. Maugun na. So, thank you so much, Sir Catalbas, for that a beautiful, wonderful, motivating, and then self-realization for each and every one of us. There is always hope. There is always hope. Kanang mintras buhi pag yun ta. Naajud siya ay paglaom. So, thank you so much. And then now we will going to invite uh, who would like to give us the closing prayer. Um, Ma'am Biuli, is that what you mean? I will choose somebody to give the closing prayer or I will be the one who will give the closing prayer. <laughs> would it be okay, sir, that you will pray for all of us as our like, <laughs> okay. school pastor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Um, it's my honor to give Kanang uh, prayer uh, because everyone has been enlightened to our speaker tonight i i really love all the messages and then okay um let us bow our head and then we will give thanks to our heavenly father um, for this successful evening that we have okay um our dear and most grace graceful heavenly father we are so much grateful for all of the attendance, all of the good health that we receive. We are so much thankful for the messages uh, Sir Francisco Catalba shared to us. It's uh, really inspiring and give us uh, motivation to move forward. Thank, thank you so much for his time and effort, his preparation to make uh, this evening successful. Thank you, so, thank you so much for the presence of every, every student our grade 11 and grade 12 in Lahug Night High School. Thank you so much for their dedication to really learn, improve, and then I love to listen to all the teachers that we're going to talk to this holistic um, discussion. We would like to ask the Heavenly Father that thou be able to bless each and every one of us that thou may able to give us the inspiration and direction, that thou may able to give us the strength to move forward in the midst of our failures and to reason out, to find solution, and then to improve our lives in the future. May thou will continually bless us with inspiration and direction. And may thou will continually give peace in our heart that we will always help everyone around us to be successful in all of our endeavors. We would like to ask thy blessing, Heavenly Father, that thou may able to continually bless our day, that we will continue to do our duties and responsibilities in fulfilling our dreams. This is our prayer. We ask thee and pray in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Sir Kitoy. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for the feedback. And please connect with us through our Facebook page. We are so blessed and humble tonight for being here. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Pray. And sweet dream. Dream tonight. Start dreaming. Okay, so picture mom. Picture dot Takonobi. Can we open our videos? Hi guys, open your video. Those who can open your video will have the documentation. I'm going, is it okay? I'm going to post this in our Facebook page and also in my stream, Facebook post. Okay, show that's your very beautiful good. and handsome faces. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Okay, so not everyone, but I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. All right, so let's have our groupie picture. All right, five, 
Okay, now four, three, two, one, smile. Okay, let me see if nakuha ang mga naong be. Okay, nakuha na di ay. Alright, so thank you so much, guys, and see you soon. Keep posted for our next session. Sir Kitoy, do you have anything else to add? Oi, panagad mo ha, panagad mo kung makitaan mo ninyo sa laho ka, kamu ka dito mo managad na mo, magsigi mo ba yung likay. Bitaw. Graduating ba ako po na nila, ma'am, no? Yes, sir. Panagad mo, guys. Ina, oi. Required daw, required daw yung jalibi. One piece chicken daw. Hana siya. Hahaha. Anyways, Mamvyol, thank you so much. Una na lang ko ninyo. Okay, sir. Okay, bye. Yeah, we'll go. We will go also, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Francisco, thank you so much, sir, for tonight. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Okay.